Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer with Vision for Life, and today I want to talk to you about a serious topic, which is concussions. For some reason, we're seeing a lot of this in our clinic. It's not necessarily the summer sports things that you would expect it to be from, but sometimes it's coming from weird and bizarre things like falling down the steps. Um, maybe it is a sport injury of something hitting you in the head, but we've also seen some things like car doors and um, like hatchbacks hitting people in the head and causing concussions. I've even had a couple of kids who hop out of their bunk bed and hit their head and have a concussion from that. So we have to take it serious. Generally what happens after that is a visit to a pediatrician or doctor's office. Maybe even if it's a sports related thing, it might be an athletic director. Taking a look to see if you fit the signs and symptoms of concussion. And then often as a follow up with a um, physician and maybe even a kind of a scan to look and make sure that there's no significant brain injury. The thing is, is that in general, we usually have some visual symptoms that last after the concussive symptoms tend to go away. And the visual symptoms you might notice or experience can be a couple of these things like dizziness, nauseous stuff, headaches, um, trouble remembering what you've either heard or read, difficulty staying focused and seeing the print, but not only that, but maybe even staying focused with reading the print and attention span. Those are just some of the symptoms. It could be difficulty with walking, problems with loud noises. There's so many others. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and look at the information there. There's even a questionnaire that you can fill out. And um, again, go to the website at visionforlifeworks.com for more information or watch one of my videos. Thank you.